Hello everyone, welcome back to E6E. Uh, I don't think I've done much between episodes. I um, went and got a bunch of lava and I did melt down our shoe god bow or whatever it was called. We've got one of those. Uh, this thing here, I, I put the tank. Oh, I've got one of these. I like hiding stuff. These are the framed trapdoors. Really useful. To grab this and put this back downstairs. Well, outside at least. Here it is. Eh. I've been making a bunch of dry rubber just because we had the, the time. Let's close that again. So I've got some dry rubber. I could put it in here and make some like rubber from thermal. But yeah, I'm not going to do that today. Uh, what are we going to do today? So, one of the things that I did do, so you know I've got this this thing where I can zip out here and I can zip up here. You can also use them like elevators. So, I have got one, I don't know if I've showed this off yet, I've got one called Underground, and this is just our, there's a big thing, a big lava scar, I don't know what you call it, it's not a lake per se, it's like a big scar. It just like starts here and it just goes all the way along. So uh, this is where I got the lava from. And I also put down these white core undumb. And I've been slowly... Oh, hello. Why do Enderman just seem to hate me now? Is it because of this? Oh, I don't know. They just always seem to hate me now. It's weird. Um, I need to get some Jasper. I don't like putting this stuff uh, over lava. So I've just been grabbing a little bit of this. God, you move so quick when, you, uh, when you're hurt with the uh, Berserker's Fury. Uh, I might as well... Do one of those as well, and then we can build like this big long line of this stuff because we are going to need like lots of it. Uh, let's just block off that lava for now. I know I'm wasting lava doing this, but there seems to be a little bit of lava about. Uh, I'm going to leave that. There we go. And then when this grows, it does seem to grow quite quick. And this is chunk loaded, so uh, which is a, a good thing about having it right underneath your base. If you chunk load your base, you're going to chunk load this too. So this thing will grow, and it will grow those uh, crystals that we need for power. So we're going to get into power today. It is, yeah, it's daytime still, so... I also made a birthday cake, because it was super simple to make. You don't get much food out of it, though, looking at it. <laughs> but yeah, the birthday cake. Oh, nope, come back, that one. Sprinkles are just sugar and any kind of dye. Just need some eggs. I've been hanging on to, like, every egg I find, so that's fine. But this doesn't require any, like, buckets of milk. Which is always a pain to, to go grab. Um, yeah, there's nothing that we can really do with with cake. But yeah, I thought it was kind of look kind of cool. So we got a birthday cake. Got three ender pearls out of that. That's pretty good. Uh, so core. There you go. I've got six of these now. I think that might be enough. Uh, we can put it in the induction smelter. That gets us two. Just gets us one for this ghostly glass. So we do need to make a bottle and cork. I don't know if I've got any of the trimmings. No, I don't. So let's go make some of that. Uh, I might just make like a bunch. Uh, wait, it's the other way around, isn't it? It's like this. So you can go like... Ah, yeah, that's another thing. I put on life mending on my um, 
Yeah, it, it has like the teleportation and stuff, but I, I kind of want my old axe back because I do not like life mending. I wanted to see what it did, so I, I grabbed. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna put you away. Uh, but now we can just do something like this. All I'm doing right now is holding my right right click button and I guess bunch. And there we go. We got all of the tree bark. I think we're going to need for a little while at least. Let's grab a couple of these. I feel like we're going to need a bit of these bottles. So I'm going to go. Yeah, I'm going to go to the Nether quickly. I mean, probably should repair my pickaxe. I'm not really going to go anywhere though, am I? So. Gonna pop in here. I probably shouldn't do it right next to my portal. That was a good place. Oh, that was close. Um, it's kind of why I needed to. Uh, <laughs> Hopefully, we'll get a better flight. Sorted out at some point. I've oh, sorted. I'm just going to do it here. There we go. We got our bottles of blood or whatever it's called. That is the stuff we need, I think. <laughs> I hope so. One thing that um, one of my friends actually pointed out to me is I made that portal to the undergarden. And I don't think I've actually used it yet. So maybe we go and do some undergarden y stuff at some point. It is Yeah, that is exactly what we're looking for. Hopefully I've got enough glass. I don't. Okay. Sand. I think the strange sand turns into regular glass. Let's have a look. Glass. Oh, and I have some in there. Nice. Perfect. Noise. Uh, so we can use this in the induction smelter. <laughs> oh dear, with some strange sand. Uh, and we can get double. What if we use it in the alloy kiln? Ah, that's a point then. So we can use one of these to get four in this recipe, or we could use one of these to get two in this recipe. So we are going to do it the alloy kiln recipe. Just because this is the thing we're hurting on. Although, to be honest... There we go. We got a bunch more now. So, shapeless. Eh. Beautiful. And I can knock these off and place them back down like this. We can also use these these blocks if we wanted to because there was that recipe that we just saw like this so we can use these if we wanted to but it's fine we're going to do do it this way so we've got our crystal glass which we need for a bunch of stuff but the main thing we need it for is this craft here so we need 13 we need some black ceramic Need to make a machine frame. I'll get all of those bits ready, and then we'll, I'll meet you back over at the uh, the crafter. Uh, one of the things that I did do between episodes is I lit everything I could up. I don't know if I've hit my mob spawner though. I might have done. Anyway, um, what I did was there's the lanterns from Torchmaster. That torch. These things here are ridiculous so so cheap i didn't even realize that these were like this cheap i thought they were going to be ridiculously expensive but what i did was i there's one right there there's like a couple about and um all that does is it spreads like invisible light blocks all around it i think it's got like a 16 block radius um so i'm hopeful that that means that our mob spawner... This is our mob spawning house, by the way. Uh, mob spawner's below it. 
right here. Hopefully, that is fine. I mean, that one is right there, and I don't know if that's going to reach, but I hope not. I've sort of dotted them around the place. Oh, there's a zombie in here that I didn't spawn. Is that a spud? <laughs> Here's a spud. Brilliant. Uh, anyway, I've got all the bits that are needed for this. These are all in a really weird configuration right now because I did break this at some point and I had to pick them all up for the quest. So I broke them and then I put them all back down. Anyway, we'll... Uh, what is it for this? So there's a, like, nine blocks here. Well, there's 13 that scissor right there. So I need to... Five, that's five right there. So I could just knock this one out. Ah, ah that's a point. I should probably use my wrench for this because it like insta breaks stuff and puts it in your inventory so like that it's in my inventory now so i can just do this this and this didn't bring any blocks with me that's okay we'll have to deal with that for now um you are why are you doing Is it because you're already running? Uh, maybe I should turn you off then. Okay, it looks like I didn't need to turn it off. I just needed to turn all of the ones in the right direction. Uh, what is left? This and this. Yeah, that's kind of working. And what I've got here is... This one is pointing into this barrel right here. So it should... There we go. Pop into the barrel. Brilliant. I don't think we need to worry about this for now. I'm just going to put these away. I did dirt this up, so <laughs> it wasn't like flowing everywhere. Uh, but anyway, let's pop back into base because there's another component we need before we can start making stuff with power. This uh, energizing rod, this is the basic one, so this is the worst one you can make. You can upgrade it, but you will also need energized steel so you already need to uh oh you need to go to the uh undergarden for that good to know good to know but yeah you already need the uh the energizing orb is that what it's called yeah you already need this uh which means you need to provide it with power which means you need one of these things so i need to make this here and to start off with this Quartz enriched iron is compressed iron and some quartz. And I have a bunch of quartz, so let's grab that and some compressed iron. We'll just make like a bunch of it because I feel like we're going to need a bunch of quartz enriched iron. And why is that so quick? Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. I got myself a reinforced integral component as a quest reward, so that's pretty good. And a flux lim linkage amplifier. This isn't being powered right now because I don't have any power going into this thing. Easy enough to sort. That might not be enough power still. Yes, it's not. Okay. It's because this is filling up with power. If I remove this, this might might help with power. It's a three times factor. Okay, I'll leave it for now. Anyway, we've got some quartz and rich from that. Refined storage. Oh, cool! It actually unlocks it for you now, instead of you having to go in and click the button. Yeah, it wants us to make each of the individual components from that. I was going to rush it. But I think power is something we need to get into sooner rather than later. So there's our quartz enriched. Let's stick those away for now. Tesla coil. We need to make this HV capacitor, which also means we need to make this MV capacitor, which is the 
LV capacitor, which requires this. How many of these do we need? So we need two for each one of the MVs. And we need two MVs for each one of the HVs. And we need two HVs. So that is four, no, eight, because there's two of these. Eight of the LVs. Is that how, is that how I'm thinking about it? I think it is. And we need a large fluid tank. Oh, no, sorry. We just need a fluid tank. Or, no, we don't. We just need a bucket with etching acid. And I believe etching acid is the only way we can get it from the PCB. And how the flip do you get this? What do you get if you lube up an iron bee? Shove it inside a pneumatic helmet and toss it in a pressure chamber. I am PCB. Um, okay, that sounds interesting. Do we need to get some lubricant, an IMB? Uh, we can get these. One of our, our guys actually uses this. There must be another way of getting etching acid. Um, I don't see one. Right, I'll go and have a look. I think there is a way of doing it, but it's not showing up in JEI, so I'm maybe like this. Oh, if you click on the bucket itself, there you go. That's Oh no, I've ripped down my modern plastic farm. Ah, oh, poo. Okay, anyway. So gunpowder, rotten flesh, and spider eyes gets us one bucket. We do need the modern plastic though, so that's a bit of a pain. And we need the re no pressurized chamber. Is it just called a reaction chamber? I don't know what it's called, but yeah, we need these bits and we need eight buckets of this. So we could do it this way or we could go and try and make the the B and do it the B way. I'm kind of just thinking we do it this way though. What is it for a bucket of plastic again? LPG and then you put so refined fuel turns into LPG and then I think one bucket turns into 800 millibuckets so we need eight buckets no 10 buckets of refined fuel to turn it into LPG we can do that and then that that eight buckets will turn into eight buckets of plastic I think that's how it works uh, wait, so plastic. Oh no, so a hundred millibuckets. So we need one bucket. Anyway, well, I'll do this. I'll do this off camera now. As you, I don't know if I've shown it yet, but I have kind of tidied up down here a little bit. A little bit tidied up. I need to fill this bit in, but yeah, this is slowly making us more and more of this refined fuel. We've got quite a bit now. This is completely full. So we can get a couple of buckets out from here and put it in this one. And yeah, but we also need to put some heat into this. So I need to go get the vortex tube. I've got a couple. I think they both need heat. So I'll go do that and pipe everything back up. I also need to run a pipe that goes all the way around here up into this. I'm low-key thinking we should just make another one of these liquid compressors and put it like over here and have it specifically for this thing. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do that. Oh, actually, that's one of the reasons I started making the dry rubber, because we needed the dry rubber for a few bits. Let's do... Eight of this, stick that in like that, perfect. Now that that is full energy, this is running at full pelt and it's keeping up, so it's all good. Yeah, 120, so the things down here, I think they're 120. 
Oh, actually, this is still going up. Cool. Oh, anyway, there we go. We've got ourselves some cured rubber. And to make another one of those uh, liquid compressors, it's fine. We just needed this, which is a bit of a pain because we need the rubber for this. Right, anyway, I'll go off and make that. Okay, this is what I've come up with. We've got uh, the basic mechanical pipes going all the way along here. And it's feeding into here. And then it's going into this fluid tank right here. Um, I needed to do that because these pipes are filling up. They're filling all the way up, which is not great for us. Um, I have activated this one right here. And that is doing a little bit of heat. I mean decent amount of heat uh, but if I want to get it hotter I've had this in my bookmarks for like the longest time and I can make it because I made that kiln blocks by accident didn't I so and I went and nicked one of these kilns from uh, one of the villages that were out there and I had to make another one which is just the mud bricks easy enough to make oh you can actually buy it from the villager oh okay Anyway, we've got one of these now. No idea how this works, um, but I got... Someone mentions that... Ooh, okay. Let's grab some... I wonder if a lava bucket would work. And if not, let's grab some coal. It's 200. Let's stick that in. That is skyrocketing the heat in these two. Oh, look at that. That is now at 300. So we can... I needed to do this because I wanted to get a bucket. Stick that in there. You don't have enough pressure is the only issue now. The good thing is this is just... It requires it to be above 300. And... This one, once we put the LPG or whatever it comes out of here, uh, will require it to be above 100. So, and just above 100. And that actually doesn't need any pressure whatsoever. Did not realize that. It's fine. You're going to get pressure anyway. And if you go above 5, it's fine because you've got security upgrades. This just needs to produce enough pressure. I have made another one of these. These are such a pain to make, I must admit. The integral components just take forever. And then, yeah. Anyway, it's good that we've got another one because that one is purely feeding this pressurized reaction chamber. Um, and it was on for a little while. Uh, I've just put a, a lever on there, so... I can turn this on whenever I need to. I'll turn it on in a bit anyway because we need to get this above one to make the etching acid. Um, you are still not above. Yeah, you're 1.75. We need to get you to 1. Point... No, we need to get you to two, two bars. So I'm just waiting on this now. This was a really good idea. Where did I put that coal? I, for some reason it went in my backpack. Stick that in there as well. That will give us a bunch of heat. This is really cool. I like... Um, whoever suggested this, it was a really good idea. I'll just stick that in there. Although the lava seems to be taking a long time to burn. It's really good for us. Uh, right, anyway, whilst that happens... I am going to get... Oh, I need to do some calculations and figure out how many buckets we're going to need. So one LPG bucket. No, sorry, not LPG. One fuel bucket. Refined fuel. Refined fuel. This stuff turns into uh, in the processing unit. 800 millibuckets. So that's eight buckets of plastic. I think that's how it works. 
And to get 800 millibuckets out of there, we can either pipe it out and just push it straight in, or we can get ourselves another tank. That's got blaze blood in there. I should really use that somewhere. Uh, we should just do one of these. Because I believe you can just grab this and you can go... Well, not that exactly, but you can use it on the this thing here and it will pull out all 800 and then I can plop it in this. That way I don't need to do like a pipe. A little bit neater. Uh, it's not that neat to be fair and it's not automated but I think it's fine for now. There isn't anything underneath these so I can put the pipe underneath. Mm, no, it's fine. It's fine. In fact, we could have used this exact same one again. I wonder if when it goes into the output, if we could have just flipped it the other way around. And it would have put it in the input. And then we could have just used the same processing plan. Anyway, that's fine. We'll um, leave that to do its thing. Uh, I want to grab all the bits that we need for the etching acid. I think once we're done with this, to get etching acid in the future, what we should do is actually go and make the bee. Not entirely sure if that means that we have... To, yeah, what was the B for the PCB? PCB. It says... Well, actually, we hover over it. Uh, we need to put a... Iron B, a pneumatic helmet. And I'm guessing some lubricant. Lubricant. Which is this stuff I'm guessing. We can use the Amadron tablet. Could probably make this. We've got everything we need right there to get get this. You need to charge it. Which is fine because I can stick a charging station in here. We've made one of those before. Um or we can use biodiesel diesel sulfuric Sulfurized diesel. I don't know how to make any of this stuff. Let's go for the diesel that's from. <gasps> that's how you do it. Oh, we need to make a refiner. I still haven't made a refiner yet. Doesn't look that bad to make. What about these controllers? I think you need a few of these. Let's have a look at the quest. Because I think in the. Where are you quest? This one. Vacuum, spawner, da, da, da. oil refiner. Yeah, it wants us to make four of these. Oh, that's an output. Okay. And it only wants one controller. That is fine. Cool. So the kiln blocks that we accidentally made previously are coming in a bit clutch right there. Oh, these are a pain in the ass to make. Thermal lagging. That needs to be black stained. That needs to be grey wool. Oh, okay. Oh, there's a lot of crafting involved in this. Uh, are you up to two yet? You don't seem to be up to two. You're getting there though. Maybe we turn this on. I'll leave it. My, um, what do you call it? The uh, These guys are actually quite close to down there. Oh, you can go outside from here. Interesting. Anyway. So, uh, I'm just going to wait for this to get up. To, I swear you've just stopped now. Um, maybe we take this heater off on this side. And this one technically doesn't need any... Oh no, wait, wait, maybe it does, maybe it does. Plastic. Plastic. It doesn't say it needs any pressure, so maybe we don't need the pressure, and... Anyway, I can, I can remove this one. And that's just letting all the pressure out. That is going up. Maybe that'll get to two now, because we haven't got this one. 
Looks like it's getting there, isn't it? There we go. Two bars of pressure. And it does it a hundred at a time. So I believe... Yeah, this is going to get us the amount we need to get the eight etching buckets that we need. Oh, awesome. And there it is, 800. Did I get all of it? Looks like it did. Cool. Just stick that in there. And there you go, we're getting some molten plastic. And it doesn't need any pressure whatsoever. Uh, mate, zing. Oh, crap. Yeah, this needs to go back on now, because we actually need to do some crafting with this. There is going to be our eight buckets. Ah, oh, amazing. Okay, I am going to hop back up here. Quickly tidy my inventory. Beautiful. Right, now I just need to wait for this to get up to one bar of pressure. I've got a horrible idea, and that is time in the bottle this thing. That is pushing that up, but is it going <laughs> to... Because these two need to equalise, so this might not go up that quickly. It seems to be going up alright though. Still very slow though. I was just looking at all the uh, reaction, oh, pressurised reaction chamber stuff. If you um, press U on uses, basically, on the pressurised chamber wall, you can see all of the recipes that you can do in here. And this is the one for the PCB, so that is quite a far way off. And we need one of these pneumatic helmets, not a compressed iron helmet like I thought. So we need to go through this entire entire thing. Uh, that looks fine. We could probably do probably do that to be fair. One of these things. Plastic sheets we've got. We can get these cylinders. Buy these off our our mates upstairs. Uh, the slabs easy enough. What about these things? I O. That looks fine. The pneumatic dynamo looks okay as well. We can make this easy enough. Uh, we could probably just make the same one over and over. Is this last one, the laser one, different? It is. It needs a... Uh, oh, blimey. Okay, so we couldn't have done this anyway unless we got into power, so I'm glad we did. Oh, we're getting close now. Oh, this has been so long. I, um... Well, as you can tell, because I've done a little bit of decorating. Uh, you can't just, like, put stuff in the interface. Ooh, it's doing a thing. Or it should be, right? Hey. Is it going to put it in the chest, or am I going to have to grab it out of this? Hopefully, it's going <gasps> to put it in the chest. Brilliant. So now, uh, that's not exactly what I wanted to see. I wanted to do this and this. And nope, this. And we are just going to put one of each of these in <laughs> and get it to make us some etching acid. It looks like it is losing pressure when it does each, like, a tiny, tiny bit of pressure every time it does one of the interactions, but it is still going up. So, that's good, <laughs> at least. Ah, I just found out that you can just put all of them in there, and I didn't have to do them one at a time like I just did. There is our eight etching acid buckets. Don't spill it on your shirt. Definitely don't do that. Uh, so for this, I still need to get like a bunch of stuff, which I didn't think about. I should have done this beforehand. Anyway, uh, that will make us four, so we only need, yeah. I'll go off and make the rest of the stuff for this. Uh, block of steel. Oh, I'm not sure we have that many steel. Actually, is it... 
This one's steel, this one's electrum, this one is the etching acid. Okay, cool. Right, I'll go off and make all of this and then meet you back. There is the LV capacitors. Here is the MV capacitors and the HV capacitor. That should be everything we need to make one of these now. Wow, actually we need to make all of this stuff. Damn it. Okay, there's the Tesla coil. Oh, this is a lot of, uh, a lot of crafting going on right here. Uh, I should have some quartz enriched. So I think I've already made the. Yeah, it looks. Yeah, I made the block already. And I had some already, apparently. Oh, I got some of this earlier. Yeah, that was it. Uh, all I need now is some of these basic capacitors large. So I need two more deployers. And I'm going to use this setup that I, I already made for this what I can do is I can just swap I can swap this one and this one out for deployers let's go do that okay so this looks about right we've got the uh, I think this is let's have a look see what we've got here we've got the aluminium plates then the dielectric paste and some signalum plates Signalum was actually really easy to make because we've already got the induction smelter, so I just did this. Um, but I did that a while ago, so uh, we can just chuck one of these on and then chuck the other one on. And there we go. It's going to go all the way around. I think it needs to do it... What if I pick this one up? Um, I can't pick the other one up, but that's okay. It does say incomplete. So now I just have to wait for this to go around a few times. I think that's, yeah, there we go. We've got two large capacitors out of that. And another two right there. So we should have everything we need now. Oh, I hope so anyway. <laughs> There's a lot of crafting. I mean, that is like one of the main things in this game, to be fair. But there we go. We've got an energizing rod. I should really look at the quests because... I'm assuming this should be a quest somewhere. Power. It is not. It's got this first for some reason. But you can't do this until you've got energized steel. So, I <laughs> don't know what it was trying to say right there. Uh, for now, I'm going to get my... Uh, did I put it? I think I put it in my backpack. Oh, I did. Nice. I can stick that there. Bung that on there. Usually these have storage. Yeah, 100 and, well, 100k FE. That should point at this thing. And now, energized, energized steel, which is this frost steel ingot. So we do need to go and get some of this from the undergarden. What else was it? It was some Electrum. So I, I made a bunch of Electrum, actually. Yeah. I made that just because I thought I'd need more for this, but I didn't. Anyway, that's pretty good. We can... Uh, well, we probably need to go to the Undergarden now. All right. I don't know how much time I've got left on my recording, but I'm just going to wing it. Let's just hop into the Undergarden. Let's take this away for now. Because we've not been in yet. And I feel like it's something we should probably go into. Ooh. Oh, it probably looks a bit better. Because I've got... Uh, I've got night vision. So that's probably what's happened here. What the heck is that? Look at that thing. That's pretty cool. Uh, right. How do we get down from here? Okay, there's our way down. Uh, let's put that on the map where we are. Add waypoint. Portal. There we go. I don't see anything that wants to kill us yet, so that's a good sign. Uh, I am going to pop down here, and maybe we just do a bit of mining. 
Is that how it works? I've not done much in the undergarden in a while. I think the last time I was here was when I was playing the Die Wolf 20 pack, which was a while ago now. Ooh, uh, let's do a mining tunnel. Sediment. Oh, okay. So. Ooh, there's some of that purple liquid. I think that's, that's pretty good. You can, you can use. What the flip is that? What the heck? Oh well. We've got Quark in this, so we can make our way down by doing this. Oh my Jesus a muncher. Can you just take like a bunch of health or do we just not have all the health? That's what was shooting at us. Okay, I'm gonna build up again. Oh sorry muncher. Pebbles. Got some ore out of that. That's pretty good. Some more over there. We need some frost ore, wherever that is. I should really just do some exploring and report back. I found what I think is a fortress. Um, I did kill a bunch of stuff, so there's these dudes. Rockwalker? <laughs> Killed you already, didn't I? <laughs> Maybe Vorpal destroyed you before. <laughs> there seems to be just be normal water. Everything sounds horrible down here, though. <laughs> I'm gonna find a way into this thing. I got myself up here. It's not that far, to be fair. We just came up this way. Um, there was some... Uh, what do you call them? Skithelings. Basically slugs. And they were walking around the place and I got some goo out of it. Which I think you can just substitute for slime balls. So that's pretty good. And I've got a bunch of those. As you can see, I've already used one of my storage crates because... Oh my Jesus. Uh, I, did I just vorpal him to death? Got a nuggets. That was a boss as well, because it dropped a scrap bag. What? Well that was that was good. Thank you, Vorpal. Um oh, that's how you make like better swords and stuff. Ow. They do tons of damage, and I think it is because of Berserker's Fury. Circus Fury. I don't know though, because. Alright, you can shush. Yeah, I'm not sure. Oh well, we're just gonna wing it, keep going. Okay. What are these things? Rotwalker, Rotling. Is that a Rotling right there? No. I don't know if we need any of these things. Probably. Oh, there's one of those little dudes. Uh, we could silk touch them and then, like, stack them up later. Because that way we can grab. That is a lot of good stuff for Britannia right there. That's common. It's got mana regen, so yeah, we're gonna take it. So I'll just take all of it. <laughs> Birth control. Oh god, that's that's um horrifying right there. Grab that as well. Anything good? Lapis, minus favor, rare. Oh, we could rip that off and put it on maybe our pick. 
Forgotten Guardian's in there. That's pretty good. That's one of the dudes we just killed, I think. Oh, okay. We are... Right. Let's see what else we can wang in this. Lots of lots of good loot. I'm just going to keep looking, and uh, I'll report back if I find anything amazing. There's two Forgotten Guardians. So I found a pretty interesting spell book. Um... <laughs> That is quite funny. Oh, brilliant. Multi Shadow Clone. I also have Fireball. Ooh, okay, I didn't think it would do explosion damage as well, but apparently it does. Brilliant. Oh, this, this place is so good for loot. Amazing. I'm going to keep hold of the Multi Shadow Clone, because that's amazing. All you do, by the way, is... Yeah. Look at all of the pilfos. Uh That is so cool. They keep walking into the purple liquid though. <laughs> ah, a maze. Um, do I have... I don't have a um, warp stone with me. That is cool though, I like that. Anything down here? No. Yeah, so this is rife with loads of really cool looking loot. Oh, look at that. Uncommon. I think I found some rare stuff already. That's just common. Um, I did find a band of mana, that's really good. Uh, so we can equip that. Yeah, I'm not going to do it now, but we can if we wanted to. Another fireball right there. Black lotuses. You can use those to... Um, actually, I've got a bunch there. Maybe maybe they stack. Who knows? They do stack. Oh, amazing. Just making my way back now. Oh, there's one of these guys. Oh, okay. Let's get rid of this stuff. Oh, amazing. Hello. Hello, dude. Don't know what happens if I just nick you. Oh, you might now. Ha! Stoneborn. Okay, well, we're going to head back. Uh, I might set this dude up near our portal, and then we'll just do some trading with him. I think, in fact, what we should do now is call that an episode because I've just started editing and, wow, uh, I'm up to 47 minutes as we are right now. Eek. Right, anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Thanks for joining. And I almost forgot again, but no, not that one. Statistics. Let's have a look. 3.22 days. I think I was at 3.1 yesterday, so... Point one of a day. I don't know how, what, two and a half hours? I think that's what point one means. Pretty much, yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thanks for joining. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.